Hello everyone, welcome to a new part of Let's Play Oblivion, the 2017 edition with of course the ultimate mod list from Bevelex. So the last time we did end up here in this cave and uh, let's rest one hour so I have full magic again. And uh, yeah, um, we were on the quest for, let's see, because I actually forgot that as well. Uh, yeah, I should, I'm doing a quest for... Um, for, for the mages guild and uh, we need to find um, someone's buried father here which is quite a long way still left so um, yeah let's see where we went we have some pretty tough fights so far uh, look there you have some Okay, uh, there is another knight and I was thinking maybe I can try the charm spell if that's gonna work. Um, is it working? No, it's not working. Okay. That means we need to destroy it with, um, with the regular spells and it also means we need to drink some potions again. Okay, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty hard. Um, I'm not really able to, uh, to to actually kill them very good. As you can see, they're very strong. So yeah, for that, um, I'm having some trouble here to, uh, to do this. And it means we probably need to, um, yeah, you know, rest a lot. Um, and... Uh, yeah, sorry, I, I, was, I thought I heard some combat, but what I wanted to say is that we probably need to rest a lot and, um, you know, uh, get, the, get our health and magic back up in every combat. And let's see, um, I'm pretty over encumbered again. Let's heal ourselves and let's see, did we actually loot uh, the lady? Ah, look, here we have the archer, I think. Yeah, it's the archer with dwarven boots, actually. Iron dagon and some dwarven, dwarven arrows. And what is it a good thing that we have our back of holding with us? Fantastic. Alrighty. So let's heal ourselves again. And we have some potions here, so that's good. And let's quick save. By the way, I'm using, um, for my microphone, something different. I'm using a Rode NT a USB microphone, but I'm using Audacity um, program to have hopefully clearer voice. And I'm wondering if you guys can hear any difference with my voice recording directly with Shutterplay or re directly recording with Audacity and put it under the video. So please let me know if you are uh, find my voice more clearer because that's what it should be. And yeah, meanwhile, let's continue to... Uh, the thing we need to obtain. And yeah, I really uh, need life detection. What's this pressure play, by the way? No idea, but uh, who cares? Let's see. So are we getting closer? Yeah, we are. Okay. Let's equip uh, life detection again. Or equip, I mean, cost it again. Let's see. Am I able to instantly kill it? Yeah, I think I am. Right. Yes. So that's good. Oh wow, there are actually more targets there, so I need to be pretty careful. There's an easy chest here. That's good because we have Magicka and I <laughs> remember I forgot to set my timer. So I have no idea how long we have been playing, but it's probably five minutes, I guess. So let's skip to 15 minutes to my timer. Yes, okay, great. Um, let's see, we do have this spell. 
that's good. And we do have life detection. And let's see, yeah, there's someone up there. So let's see if we're able to um, take him out. Oh, there are a lot of them. Yeah, I need to um, I need to be on full um, uh, Magicka. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some potions of Restore Magicka, I think. Um, yeah, because else I just can't beat them. So let's refresh life detection. And let's spam them to death with lightning. Oh, and I actually forgot to... Okay, one more, two more shocks. I think one more shock now. Okay, regenerate, come on. Ow, ow, ow. Come on, give me that lightning shock. Oh, damn it, he's not dead yet. All right, that's fine. Let's just dance with him, because why not? Come on, give me one more shock. One more. Stand still, will you, and die. Yes, good. So we got a Dwarf from Claymore. And let's... Wow, look at this. All kind of orcish stuff. That looks great. And a key, okay. That means let's loot every freaking thing. And let's put everything back in the back of holding. Wow, but this orcish armor is really good that we actually did find it here. That's really awesome, actually. Um, all right, yeah, good. The battle mage, hmm, fortunately, she doesn't have anything magic on her. I don't have enough magic. Yeah, I thought I didn't have that. All right. Yeah, so as you can see, these battles are tough, really tough. A silver bow, nice. Good, silver bow. And this is the archer that we did kill as well. Good. So let's quick save because I think we're pretty nearby now. And make sure we have some fresh starlight activated. So we're able to see very well here. Potion of Cure Disease, okay. And what do we have here? Oh, look, there's a small alley here, it seems. Wow, look at this. A scroll and some gold. And an alert. Let's quick save. And let's see. Let's refresh Starlight. And let's refresh Life Detection. In case we find some bad things here. So where does this go actually? Okay, it seems like an exit here. That's good. Hopefully it is. Let's quick save in case we can't go back. Okay, yes it is. And it seems to be an exit outside. Let's see, have I been here? Yeah, okay, great. Ooh, that's good. Um, so I don't need to necessarily walk all the way back again. But uh, yeah, there is still something we need to do first. And that's obtaining that thing. And that thing is... What was it again? Her father should be buried in sight. And um, I need to obtain uh, something. What was it again? I'm trying to remember the quest again. But I really can't. Because I can't really remember what we were actually doing for the Mage's Guild. Let, let me check that out. I need to find an amulet. Oh, that was it. Yes. Okay. Question about a father to find the connection. All right. So let's see what's going on here. And here we. S Seems we have some company. Probably strong guys. So let's cast live detection again. Let's cast Starlight again to make sure we are fine. Now, who is this? A dead marauder? Okay. But yeah, this is... Um, oh, crappers. 
it was actually more closer than I thought. This is a will-o'-wisp or something? Or what is this? Yeah, it is a will-o'-wisp, I guess. Oh, it can't be uh, beaten only with magicka. Yeah. Okay, my willpower has been damaged. That's fine. Okay, then I still need one more spell. Alright, still not dead. Great. Okay, now he is dead. That's good. Let's see if there was any loot. Glow dust. Okay, I can use that for alchemy. Let's heal myself a little bit. Yes. Okay, I'm not going to need this. Alright, hopefully that was um, it for this scary part. What is this? A coffin. It has a bone, and this is a dead marauder as well. But nothing really that special here. Um, more coffins here. And a hard chest, okay. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Let's see if I can try to open it. Probably not, but... Because I really suck at this. Now, you know, screw this. I'm going to... Oh, wait, I can actually try that again. Relatively easily. Okay. Okay, well, I actually managed to do it. What do we have here? A repair hammer, some gold, some very strong potions. Okay, nice. And then we ran out of starlight. But uh, yeah, um, so what do we need to do here? Wow, a better legs of dispel. Okay, and an amulet and a bone. And now I need to return to her, so let's do that. Um, and let's store everything here in as well. And look at how many magical weapons we have. Like, a lot of them. Let's see, the value. So we can sort and value, and yeah. This maze is still very awesome. Um, that I found in one of the first quests in Imperial City. But the Declaimer of Shocking is also very deadly. It does 10 damage, shock damage. Uh, this one is very good against mages. Um, yeah, and this one as well. Yeah, this is Drain Magicka and this is this spell. Yeah, so that's really good. Um, and this is also good, this staff, which uh, also has a lot of charges. So I might actually ha could use that staff, but uh, yeah, you know, we're fine. Let's make a quick save or at least a new save point. So um, if anything ever goes wrong, I'm able to return very easily. Oh, look. Uh, just stop right there. Jesus. All right? He scared a big Jesus out of me. I can't let you leave with that amulet. I need it right now. What, you think I didn't know what you're up to? I knew you were looking for it. I knew you'd find it. And I had to stop you. Now, hand it over. Uh, what about hell now, boy? I took the other one. And that should have been enough. I shouldn't have to go through all this just to get rid of her. It's not even as if I was going to keep it forever. I was going to give it back to her once I'd gotten what I wanted. That's not so wrong, is it? Once she helped me advance out of that place and step down, then she could have it back. Why did you have to get in the way? Why are you trying to ruin everything? Okay, you're going to try to kill me, buddy, or... <laughs> Okay, am I able to actually do this? Probably not. That means potion fest again. All right, that's fine. Um, let's see what I'm going to take for potions. Perhaps just some sorcery to finish it off. Do I actually have some healing potions? I'm not really sure. All right. Okay, what uh, does he has with him? Um, a key, mage's rope, some gold pigskin shoes. Okay. 
That sneaky bastard, he tried to stop me, but uh, it seems he really wasn't be able to do that, so that's good. All right, and now I hopefully can leave this place without being jump scared to death by a random mage guild member trying to um, stop me. All right. Now let's get the hell out of here and let's go back to the fort. Let's see what in-game time is. It's 8.41 p.m. Okay, should be able to go back to um, to the uh, city without any problems. Oh, it's raining. Fantastic. That's fine. We can quick save. So let's see where do we need to go. Or shall we just fast travel? Um, nah, you know, let's just go old-fashioned way to... Um, to the city and let's see how long do we still have left uh three minutes that should be fine to rest and make sure we um will finish the quest deliver it time enough we also should avoid that oblivion gate because it has all kind of nasty creatures around it ah and there's another oblivion gate fantastic i'm being oblivion gated Wow, uh, is this the other one already? Let's see, so I need to pass here. Yeah, two Oblivion Gates, it's quite a busy place here, it seems. Alrighty. Raining, raining, but um, yeah, it's nice to see some rain uh, as well as uh, something else, you know, instead of always the bright weather. Is there combat? Oh no, I thought the music stopped, so there was combat, but yeah, there's the city, it seems, so we um, we were, uh, what was his name? Leowin, yeah, yeah, Leowin, that's where we were heading to. Yeah, yeah as you can see, it's quite... Uh, oh, what the hell? Die. Stupid mites. Oh, crappers. <laughs> I'm almost die dead. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm not really sure if I actually have something that heals me, but... Oh, whoa. He is freaking fast. Oh, he got me. Seriously. You stupid... Creature, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, screw this. I'm going to fast travel. I'm not going to do the all the freaking way all over again. Because, yeah, the time is running out and um, I want to deliver the quest and I want to sleep one hour or something. So, we... Um, let's see, I actually had two quests to deliver, I thought I had. Two quests. Um, I should run. Yeah, first let me finish the quest where we did um, actually deliver the staff with the goblins. So let's see what kind of reward we get from her. And now it's actually night time here in this. Wonderful village of Leowin. So is this here? No, it's not. We need to walk a little bit further. So it's right around the corner here. Now look at the great atmosphere inside here. So let's first tell the good news that we place the staff with the scamps and we should be able to obtain one of her trinkets is she actually a sleeper seems she's asleep that's good that means we can try to sneak around a little bit to see what she has 
Mm, it says word stealing. Nah, not necessarily. So let's talk to her. Because we have some good news. I don't see any scamps or the staff. That's true. I'm still having the floor scrubbed. What do those things eat anyway? Yuck. As promised, here's the ring. I bought it from a shop in the Imperial City many years ago for an ex-lover of mine. He ran off with someone else, so now the ring belongs to you. The owner of the shop called it the Ring of Eidolon's Edge. I think you'll like it. Well, hopefully I do. Let's see what it does. Ring of Eidolon's Edge. Okay. Um, let's see. Fortified Blood. Okay, that's good for fighting. Um... But I do have a ring of retribution, so find your way home safely. I'm going to leave that on. It's purely for fighting. Um, so yeah, let's uh, save it in our inventory, or maybe sell it, or disenchant if we're able to um, ever get to the Arcane University. But we still have the other quest um, from the Mage's Guild, of course, in Lewin. So let's deliver that and let's see what we're get in return for that. Here's the Fighters Guild. That means that the Mage's Guild is nearby. And there we can see it already. Looking great. The atmosphere. Also, the cities are uh, pretty lost. Everyone seems to be sleeping already. So that's nice. That means we won't be bothered by anyone. All right, so let's deliver the quests. Okay, um, where is she? Probably sleeping already, or not? Yes. If you've got the amulet, then De Gale should be able to regain. Con okay, let's do that. Let's first uh, get to her. De Gale, what's her name? Um, let's see. She could be pretty much anywhere. Then she's probably sleeping on a third floor, I guess. Here she is. Nothing has changed, child. The voices. I do. I do have the freaking amulet. Found it, have you? Silenced the hands that betrayed and took what was mine. Then let me have the stone so that the voices can be shut out. Ah, oh, child, I thank you for helping me. With the voices quieted for now, the words you seek have come to me. You shall have my recommendation. Good, good, good. Though I must warn you, I've seen things in your future. Things which may be, and things which will be. It will be up to you to decide the fate of many. Life and death are strange things. Easily manipulated, and both will be altered by your hands. All right. Thanks for that. The Mage's Guild has made more than a few. All right. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys liked it again. Um, this was the end of this part again. Um, yeah, please let me know in the comments if you could hear any difference between my voice. And if not, then I'm just going to continue with Shadowplay voice uh, recording. But the problem with Shadowplay voice recording is that the quality has been uh, is going to be compressed, but with uh, with our audacity, it's not going to be compressed. So, yeah, please let me know that, and then hopefully see you guys at the next part. So take care and bye bye. Now, quick saving in all the lights, and 